Military aviation has come a long way since the Wright brothers' first flight in 1903. Today, it plays a crucial role in modern warfare. And when it comes to air power, no one does it better than the United States Air Force. They have the largest, most technologically advanced, and most powerful air fleet in the world, but they are still making waves in the warfare world. With their development of a tactical, ultra-short, pulsed laser system, this bad boy can neutralize threats in three different ways, with a potential to destroy anything in its path, all while using a mind-blowing terawatt of energy in just 200 femtoseconds. Want to know more? Keep watching. For years, laser weapon systems have been a hot topic in the military world, but the United States has just taken it to the next level with the development of the Ultra Short Pulse Laser, or simply the USPL prototype. But before we get into the specifics of this bad boy, let's first go over the foundations of laser weapon systems. Laser weapon systems, also known as directed energy weapons, are intended to destroy or damage targets by emitting highly concentrated beams of light energy. A chemical, electrical, or nuclear source generates the energy, which is then amplified and focused by a series of optical components, such as mirrors and lenses. Once focused, the energy is directed at a target, where it causes damage through heating, melting, or explosive destruction. Current laser-based systems target and destroy an object by emitting a continuous beam of focused energy. But as cool as that sounds, these systems have some limitations. One of the main limitations is their high power consumption, which makes them difficult to operate in the field. Moreover, the continuous beam of energy can be easily absorbed or scattered by the atmosphere, reducing the weapon's range and accuracy. Another limitation is their size and weight, which makes integration into existing weapon platforms rather difficult. And let's not forget the fact that they can also be pretty costly to produce. This is where the USPL comes into play. This prototype destroys targets with ultra-short bursts of highly intense energy, making it a game-changer in the world of laser weapon systems. It is not only more efficient and cost-effective, but it can also neutralize threats in three distinct ways, but we'll get into that shortly. Power output of the USPL distinguishes it from other laser systems. The USPL can generate a 1 terawatt pulse in just 200 femtoseconds, making it far more powerful than other systems like the High Energy Laser with Integrated Optical Dazzler and Surveillance. With this level of power, the USPL is able to effectively counter a wide range of threats, from small drones to ballistic missiles. This system has the potential to transform our understanding of air and missile defense. Consider a weapon that can counter threats in three ways, scorching, blinding, and electronic interference. That is exactly what the USPL is capable of, and it's all due to its use of ultra-short bursts of extremely intense energy. The first method of neutralization, scorching, uses high-energy pulses to heat up and destroy the target. The USPL's intense heat can cause the target to explode or catch fire, effectively neutralizing it. This makes it an ideal method for destroying enemy aircraft or even missiles, because the intense heat can cause the target to lose control and crash. Scorching is incredibly effective against targets made of combustible materials like fuel tanks, or with highly heat-sensitive components. It can also cause the target to lose power, rendering it unable to continue its mission. The second method of neutralizing is blinding, which uses a focused beam of light to temporarily or permanently blind a target, whether it's a person or an optical sensor. This has the potential to disable or neutralize any ground-based and even aerial surveillance. This method can be used in situations where the target must be neutralized without causing physical damage, such as in an urban environment or when dealing with non-combative targets. The USPL's third method of neutralization is electronic interference. This involves the use of high-energy pulses to disrupt a target's electronic system. As a result, it is an effective method for defeating electronic systems like radar or even communications equipment. This method is useful when it's necessary to disable the target's ability to communicate or detect the presence of the attacking force. Imagine the USPL's capabilities paired with the already formidable aerial defense systems of the United States. 
It's like having an extra ace up your sleeve in a game of poker, a superhero sidekick for already powerful Air Force. It's a game changer and a force to be reckoned with. With the USPL, United States is taking air defense to the next level and solidifying their position as a top player in the world of military aviation. But the development of this system is no easy feat. Over the last two decades, researchers have faced significant challenges like developing femtosecond lasers capable of producing ultra-short bursts of extremely intense energy. Then there's the logistics and infrastructure, because the technology for this system is highly specialized, and it's extremely difficult to obtain the materials and manufacture the lasers. Despite these challenges, advances in diode and fiber laser technology enabled the development of more durable and efficient continuous wave laser systems. These technological advances allow the USPL to be integrated onto ground or sea platforms, making it more versatile and practical as a weapon system. The use of diode lasers uplifts the game of the USPL. When compared to traditional gas or crystal lasers, these bad boys have a much longer lifespan, making them even more reliable and efficient. As well, they are easily integrated into existing systems, making them a very cost-effective option for the US Army. Also, the use of fiber lasers is another key development for this system. These lasers generate and amplify the laser beam using optical fibers, which allow for greater control over the intensity and the direction of the beam. As a result, they are very ideal for use in weapon systems because they can be easily aimed and focused on a target. All of this combined results in a powerful punch, delivering a terawatt of energy in a brief burst of 200 femtoseconds. That's like the equivalent of a billion billion watts in a tiny fraction of a second. It's like a super-powered laser beam capable of annihilating anything in its path. What's more, the USPL can do it all from a safe distance, making it an absolute game-changer for air and missile defense. The USPL has the potential to revolutionize how we fight wars. It's a game-changer in terms of air and missile defense, but it doesn't stop there. Because of its versatility, the USPL can be used in a wide range of scenarios, from taking out enemy drones to neutralizing land-based threats. One of the most significant advantages of the USPL is its ability to nullify a threat without causing collateral damage. This is a significant advantage in urban warfare where traditional weapons can inadvertently harm civilians. In situations where precision is critical, the USPL's ability to target specific areas with high accuracy is massive. The USPL may also have an impact on national security by adding a new layer of defense against terrorist attacks and even cyber threats. It's a new form of defense that can keep citizens safe from a variety of different threats. But let's not forget about the elephant in the room, the ethical and moral implications of using such a powerful weapon system. It's critical to consider the implications of using the USPL in a real-world scenario. The first issue is that of collateral damage. Given the USPL's ability to neutralize threats without endangering civilians, it's critical to consider the possibility of unintended consequences. It's important that the US Army implements proper protocol and procedure to reduce the risk of any collateral damage. Another ethical consideration is the possibility of the USPL being abused. It is a lethal weapon, and it should only be used in extreme cases. Then, there is the issue of using the USPL as a deterrent. The capabilities of the USPL could be used to intimidate other countries, and it's critical to consider the possibility of such misuse. So what does this mean for the future of warfare? Is the USPL going to revolutionize the way we fight war? Is it a game changer for air and missile defense? Well, only time will tell. But one thing is for sure, the US Army's development of the USPL is definitely something to keep an eye on. We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, and watch these ones as well.